Hello, welcome back to the Ottoman campaign. I'm Keb. I'm Perry. And we're ready to get going again. Yay, I get to deal more with this war I didn't want to have to deal with. At least it isn't a treasure barge. There's one lurking in this war simple. You and I both. <laughs> no, I crushed the uh, two thirds of the army the armies I'm fighting and about to do the same to the, the, the next part of it. You never know. You might actually not get the event if you're at war. Could it, did, it didn't have any triggers on, for that, though. Oh. Well, that's oh. sad. I'm being beaten by what I consider an inferior army. Woohoo. It happens. Well, yeah, to you. Of course, cities demand old rights. Uh, screw you, game engine. Yeah, I lost... I won the battle. I lost 17,000 soldiers and killed 4,000. 5,000, I'm sorry. With me having the superior general. Well, <laughs> Persia just rivaled you. Yeah, I am annoyed by that too. <laughs> and they're my ally. You and I, you and I might have words. <laughs> I'm thinking my role in this war is. I have hell. Oh. Oh, I may not be able to stay in this war very long. The maintenance cost of my army is huge. Repair all the losses. Repair, replace all the losses I'm taking. Just a few loans. I just got out of those. <laughs> you're not. You're supposed to be in debt, apparently. Yeah, I'm currently minus fourteen a month. It's almost exclusively army repairs. Yeah, I may as well just get her over with and take the loan now. Georgian course, unfortunately, has that bloody modifier. Ugh. 50% extra. That hurts. Yes, it, w yes, it would. On the bright side, I at least cut them off from Persia. For now. I don't want Persia to grow, and... Poland, what the heck are you doing? Poland just declared war on Muscovy. Hey, Poland. Oh, that'd be why. Moscow's alliance with Sweden is over. When did that happen? And Moscow is actually sieging down Denmark. That's okay, I've got a fleet of 37 Thai warships blockading Manila. Or keeping, keeping my four... Uh, Keeping my poor four uh, explorer ships stuck in there. As long as Poland doesn't call me into this war, I really don't want it to be in that war. That's the other thing I tried. I'm trying to stop Poland from growing too big. Oh, I didn't think about that. I wanted to vassalize Crimea, but I took a few, a few of their core provinces in this peace deal. Whoops. Not getting their likes back much, are you? Apparently not. 
could always attack them. I mean, they're, they're, they're guaranteed by Moscow, but Moscow is busy right now. Just a little bit. I should probably just finish Hedjaz instead. Finish Hedjaz, finish the Mamluks, and smash Ethiopia a bit. I don't like them westernizing. I mean, now I really want to kill Arakan. They've got a province called Kale. No one likes Kale. Oh, shist. Right next to Brussels sprouts? No, well, I... I just happened to find as I arrived in Kale the flippin' Thai army. <laughs> I'm hoping me being the defender in a jungle is going to help. Westernizing gave me a map spread, by the way. Nice. So now I can see Portuguese Brazil. Well, that's nice. And that might be all they have, actually. They settled in the far south of Brazil. Center of Brazil, perhaps. Rio de Janeiro. Or oh, Rio, okay. Ah, god damn it. And the Caribbean is still uncolonized. Except one Spanish one. I'm out of manpower. Ouch. That's kind of, yeah. Does I have infantry combat ability or something? Doesn't look like it. They still have 28,000 manpower. And 20,000 man army. Oh, this is an aggressive war, is it? No, I'm, I'm, I'm the defender. To think I am. I was ca called by an ally. So what I can do at this point, other than start hiring tons of mercenaries. I'm hoping to avoid that. M power zero. Ouch. Yeah, no, I'm I'm actually very upset about this. It goes back to the my fifteen year old complaints against this game engine of this. There's a tag I haven't seen before. Iceland. Yeah, it's uh, Iceland. My goodness. Yeah, I've popped up from time to time. Yeah, I've never seen that tag. Open God. I'd say run for the hills and just wait.
Yeah, this war is at minus 22%. 22 war score. As long as I don't siege large swaths of your land. That's the one thing you want to prevent, but other than that... Oh no, okay. The Persia one has a death wish. De death wish. I'll have to end this alliance soon. Can't let Persia westernize. I don't think you'll have to worry about Russia. Right now, that's not my biggest my biggest concern. <laughs> yeah, well, but one thing, Perm is still independent, and they're huge. And Moscow is being crushed by Poland at this point. Well, it doesn't matter at this point. I can't even win. Can't even win defensive battles. Do you have some kind of modifier or something? No. No, this is just what normally happens in this game. This is why I... They need to gut the combat engine completely and... First person at Paradox that says it's, it's working in design needs to get fired. You know. No, it's infuriating. I'm not even a target of the war, and yet here they, you know, they march through the countries that are the targets of the war, and just start yeah. rampaging through my territory. You could always just uh, sue for peace oh, independently. The, oh yeah, I've tried. It's been rejected. Oh. Why? Why would they accept peace from a country they're crushing? I mean, I'll try again. Yeah, I have to give up vassal provinces for or to even be even be uh Actually, have to give up one of my vassals altogether. Ouch. No, they want the capital from the vassal. Get out of this guy. Well, as soon as we have a board, you can rest an vessel for me, maybe. You have to give up half of that vassal. Want. Well, if I release the one country as a vassal, they'll they'll accept my peace. Fine with that. Could huh? have been worse, as long as you don't implode. Well, that's the main goal. I just now have to figure out how to crush these Southeast Asia piecemeal. And fortresses are going to be reappearing along my border. <laughs> Did you tear someone, some of them down? Or? Enough that they could walk around them. So, yeah. Yeah, that. 
That's kind of what I had earlier, where the Mamluks just chased me all the way up to Anatolia. Oh, yeah, no, they all they went most of the way down to Shanghai. At this point, I can actually afford the forts, so I'm fine with keeping them once I get. Turn army mate down. Time for another war. No. <laughs> for me, it is. Just a small war. Just head jaws. No, it's... It's just... They're so in denial there's not a problem there that it actually just decreases my enjoy my ability to enjoy the game. And I know it's... You know, I'll, be, I'll get over myself here in a few minutes, so it won't matter, but... <laughs> Round the way, it's fine. No, it's we just, all have those moments. It's just, it's it's pathetic to think this is 15 years in which you, you go into every fight having to hold your breath because you know the engine is designed to for you to lose. And that, unless unless you bring overwhelming superiority, that you, you know, you don't have a reasonable chance of being successful. And I think that's, I think that's horribly unfair. Well... Yeah, I generally are made to defeat the human player. So they have to stack the rules. No, no, they have to give a challenge to the human player. If you don't have an if you have an unfair system, then the whole thing's screwed up. You have to un if you have to intentionally unbalance it because you can't pro program or design it around that, then you need to take a step back and reevaluate your life's decisions. No, that's that's my problem with Stardock. Stardock can't make a game that doesn't involve the AI cheating. I wouldn't know. I've never been able to tell. I, I don't think I've. I don't think I've played that many Stardock games. No, I've I've sit there and watched a start uh, in Galactic Empires. I've watched a country that I've, you know, no no definitively doesn't have resources. I've crushed their fleet. And see them turn out a multi-turn build in one turn. Ah. I've you know watched which watched it with my own eyes, and then like so it's you know it's intolerable in that. And yet they live in the denial of oh no, it's not actually doing that. So I have got to break that alliance up. That actually might work out. So, as a side effect of that war, one of the countries I early on had had allied with, hoping to vassalize, got mauled, and what's left of it is now vassalizable. So I can grab that and uh, hopefully salvage a little of this. I and think I found, I think I found a graphics bug. No, I, it, I'm just looking at Tuscany. Florence apparently formed Tuscany, right? But but the borderline, the color of the borderline is still the old color, the color of uh, Florence. That's weird. They have a red borderline. That's weird. <laughs> it looks kind of neat. I thought it was some kind of other markation, but apparently I, it's a graphics bug. It could be that it clears up when we reload the game. I don't know. Why not next time we reload the game? So we will. Or not. Uh. <laughs> oh, come on. No, no, no. <laughs> as much as rage quitting would actually be quite therapeutic right now, that stupidness. <laughs> the, uh, I will soldier on. Building Keep it. your mind on Stellaris. Just a few more days. Gonna then you'll rage about that game. <laughs> ah. Well, okay, who am I kidding? Yes, I probably will find something to rage about. But you know what? I won't look at tooltips. Say words aloud a couple of times and then figure out the word is made up by paradox. 
Like you, you a Roomba. Kidding. I actually, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say negative things. I've not met the person. Don't. I like that. Um, Jarakhand is my my um, my vassal in, in, on the Ganges, and I forced their religious conversion, so they're going about converting to Confucianism. Uh, but their missionary uses the Hindu um, graphics. So basically, I've got a a Hindu priest sitting there converting everyone to Chinese religion. I have brought. I've broken Earth. <laughs> That's kind of strange. Then. So the missionaries are based on tech group, then? Or not? Yeah, no, they should be based on state religion. Based it is clearly not. Hmm, neat. Yeah. Little things I notice after having my ass handed. <laughs> uh, I need to figure out what's wrong with my manpower. I thought they removed the huge limits. It used to be in, with Ming that you had minus 50% or something by default. My only maximum is only 45,000. Oh, oh my goodness. That's quite low. No, what, they, what it is is it's my, my autonomy is crushing my, uh, my manpower. Yeah, so you need to westernize them to get rid of that one. Oh, yeah, it's like when I'm looking at this province he here... It's minus 33 for non-accepted culture and then minus 50% more for local autonomy. So it's got a base of 67, 67% and then that's halved because of the local autonomy. Oh, it's a large amount of non-accepted cultures in Ah. <laughs> I was thinking of taking an admin idea next. But after that war, I'm temp tempted to take qu quantity. Good news from Europe. Did Austria just caused the civil war event. Okay. The, Maybe it's what's it's time to build a spy network. <laughs> are you hoping for the? Uh, are you hoping for revolts? Well, there already are revolts, but uh, I'm kind of hoping for them to implode a bit. Well, let me rephrase that. Are you hoping for the, the Dutch lowland revolts? Oh yes, but they won't show up for a while yet. Yeah, I mean we're still eighty years. Oh no, we're about fifty years early. But I like Austria having revolts. That's good news for me. I like Austria being revolting. Check. <laughs> Wait. Well, they haven't taken any military ideas, and that also helps me quite a bit. I don't like that the... Uh, releasing that vassal gave him a minus 200 opinion of me. Very annoying. Releasing them? Yes. I got the our our overlord dishonored us. Or, I'm sorry, abandoned us. Modifier of minus two hundred with plus, uh, correcting at six per year. I didn't even know that such a thing existed. Well, I mean, it, it, you need something to keep me from immediately revassalizing. Still, like so many things with that situation right there, a nuisance. Yeah, I was actually going to gear up and start moving towards um, picking on Dai Viet, but after that war there, I think I'm going to solidify my relationship with them and help help use them to bludgeon the ties to death.
Ooh. There is a country here I was trying to vassalize. Because I can, but they also are allied with allied with the Thai by themselves. So I could potentially try to explore. Yes, our manpower, our, our manpower reserves need to recover. Annihilated. I need twenty-eight thousand manpower to reinforce my army, and then, and then it'll start re. Muggle is running rampant. Bent. Ain't pretty. And I've apparently explored everything I can now. With some more tech. You get need more forward outposts then. Yeah. Oh. Oira changed government. Oira changed governments. What did they become? Icta. Interesting. I didn't know they could do that. Well, it's rebels, then, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, my aggressive expansion in Europe has pretty much died down. Definitely time to... Aggressively expand. Yeah, I, I still have that victory card, Transylvania. Well, that's right, I've got that one too for... Uh, my rat in Mongolia. Not that you I... You know which direction you should go for, then. Well, no. The, the damage I just took, I'm out, of the, I'm out of the war business for a long time. I should probably consolidate my armies, let them recharge a bit faster. They only get 400 men a, mo a month. Although... Lowering my maintenance changed the reef. No, it just does... Changes them. And you know what? <sighs> Now that I survived that war and only had to lose one vassal for it, I think we've reached break. Okay. I think so. we'll take a short break here. Alrighty, so. Again in the next episode. Yep, folks. Thanks for watching.